I know she's bad right now with all that starving bullshit and the dust storms and we running out of french fries and burrito coverings. Yeah. But I got a solution. That's what you said last time, dipshit. I got a solution. You're a dick. South Carolina, what's up? <laughs> That's what I thought. What is up, YouTube, and welcome back to Tactical Newbie, the channel where a newbie like me gets into all things tactical. With the funny movie introductions out of the way, let's get uh, right into today's video. So today's video is going to be um, another low-budget loadout. So you can kind of see a cycle coming around full circle again right after the budget build videos where I'm now following in suit with the, uh, the ever so popular low budget loadout. So basically, uh, today's low budget loadout is going to be for the uh, Petak Gear V5 tactical plate carrier or tactical vest. It's kind of a uh, knockoff or direct knockoff of the Faro Systems FCPC uh, plate carrier, almost to a T. Um, so what you're gonna see is very, um, Pretty much uh, some complete similarities between the two, um, just obviously the pet tack gear being a little bit cheaper um, and being kind of a direct knockoff. But uh, with all that being said, you're going to get um, full spectrum, 360 degree view of the play carrier itself, as, long, uh, as well as price points um, kind of placed in the corner like the other videos before where you kind of get, get a full rundown of all the price points for everything that I paid for the product in itself and then a total calculation for the cost of everything in entirety. But uh, yeah, with all that being said, let's get right into the video and I'll see you guys on the other side. Alrighty, and away we go. So what we're looking at here is the Petak Gear V5 Play Carrier, retail price $239.95. So basically this is a direct knockoff of the Faro Systems FCPC plate carrier system. Um, in entirety, uh, almost a direct one-for-one -one knockoff. Uh, the plus side is what you get for the purchase of this product is in entirety for the plate carrier is you get a front mag placard, which you would have to buy separately through Faro Systems that would not be included for the plate carrier, as well as the uh, Tigris side quote-unquote assault cumber buns, um, which is also kind of a feature that uh, Pet Carrier offers for the total retail price of the plate carrier. Now moving on to uh, the Pet Tac Gear Tactical Drop Pouch. Retail price $26.95, it's basically a one for one knockoff of the Faro Systems Mini Drop Pouch. Um, you'll see down below um, drop pouch that I have also mounted a, um, a Gear Light flashlight. Retail price $16.04 for two lights. Um, obviously I only have one of the lights on there, so you just have to split that price in half. Looking at next, we got the uh, Ken Ken Kenku uh, C1292 knife fixed blade. Retail price uh, $29.98. As you can tell, I'm not very good at uh, pronouncing that word. But yeah, um, knife overall is good quality. Very, very sharp. Very, very pointy, as you can tell. And uh, as you can tell, I have it there affixed on uh, the kind of corner of my cummerbund for easy access and quick draw as I struggle to slide that back in the sheath. Quick keynote, uh, the Ferro Systems 3-inch Assault Cumberbund is 118 bucks compared to the one that you get supplied with the Pet Tac Gear V5 plate carrier. So that just shows uh, just in entirety the amount of money that you're going to have to invest in to just build uh, your plate carrier through Ferro Systems the way you want to build it. Um, next, taking a look, we have the uh, I Do Gear water bottle pouch, which I kind of created as a makeshift iFact. Retail price, $19.90. Um, again, it is, I can cross-reference it and use it for a multitude of other things, not just the uh, holding an IFAC, but holding water bottle or any other things down the line. Yeah, I'm going through all those typical teenage girl issues, like finals and college applications, and am I going to get asked to prom? <laughs> Plus, I haven't gotten my period in like two months, which is really weird because I've mostly just been doing anal. Alrighty, now taking a more detailed look at the I Do Gear Back Banger panel. Retail price by itself, $59.95. Keep in mind that you can buy the Back Banger panel or the V5 plate carrier separately. You do not have to buy it uh, together for the total retail price of $239.95. 
um, but overall good quality for the the back banger panel again it is a direct knockoff of the back banger panel from Faro systems um, across the board um, but for the retail price of $59.95 you are saving a pretty penny when you compare it to the uh, Faro Systems uh, back banger panel which is $191. Um, so again just a little bit of food for thought when you take a look at the price for what you get for the pet tag gear versus the uh, Faro Systems. Next we got here the Blue Force Gear Dump Pouch retail price $48.95. Uh, this is a good quality pull out dump pouch. It is very lightweight and you can kind of slide uh, the dump pouch into uh, this elastic kind of pouch holder. It does have a pull string tab where you can kind of tighten the, the pouch up if you want to keep the items from uh, popping out as you're moving or running. Um, all things considered, very impressed with the quality and make of this dump pouch. Um, very smart design uh, for the pull out tab where you can essentially just pull it out whenever needed and just go ahead and stuff it back in when you don't. Um, very lightweight as I stated before and I just thought it would be a perfect addition to just kind of put on the side cummerbund just in case I needed to carry some additional things. So a little bit of food for thought as we get a final look at the Pet Tech uh, plate carrier. Um, if you were to buy this exact setup uh, from Faro Systems, which again, this is a direct knockoff off, you would be essentially spending $685 just for the plate care in entirety, as opposed to a total retail price of $239.95 for the plate carrier and the entire loadout, $381.77. Um, so I consider that a steal if you ask me. I, I had no idea you could milk a cat. Oh yeah, you can milk anything with nipples. I have nipples, Greg. Could you milk me? All right, and uh, per usual, here is uh, kind of the uh, fit check of uh, the entire loadout, both uh, battle belt and plate carrier in entirety. Um, so basically, all things considered, I was pleasantly surprised with um, the uh, Pet Tech Gear V5 plate carrier. Uh, quality of the material is of a very good quality. Unfortunately, I do not have a Faro Systems FCPC to compare uh, the actual cloth, uh, cloth material one for one. Stitching is good though. Um, it, um, as far as I know, it is actual Tigris used on the Cumber Bun. Um, all things considered, uh, just knowing off the bat that I can uh, pay $239.95 for um, essentially a look that I would have to pay $685 to get the same through the actual legitimate source. Um, in entirety, uh, it's just nice to have. Um, across, you know, if you do decide you want to pull the trigger on the uh, the the better brand, by all means, do so. Um, but the nice thing with this plate care, if you do decide not to use it for um, home protection or for any uh, training down the line, is it's realistically it would be ideal for airsoft. Um, it is one of those things where, like I said, you can get the look without necessarily having to pay the full price for said look. Um, and that in itself is, is like I said, it's uh, a bargain you really can't, uh, you can't compare across the board. But um, down the line, I would, and I probably will eventually get uh, the uh, Faro Systems entire setup down the line. Obviously, I'd have to chip at it little by little down the line because of how expensive some of these things are. And then it would be interesting to compare quality uh, one for one, the real thing versus, uh, versus the the quote unquote knockoff. What's nice about this loadout overall is uh, the ability of how both uh, the battle belt and the play carrier can work very well in tandem or independently of each other. Um, obviously the two dump pouches, one on the battle belt, one on the side of the play carrier works very well. Having the tearaway IFAC to be able to tear away from my battle belt and if need be, I can put it on the front of my uh, play carrier. Um, just offers a lot of versatility across the board. Is it the Frank or the beans? Oh, I, 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 I don't know. It looks like I think it's a little bit of both. Break the veins! Break the veins! <laughs> All right, as we come into the home stretch of the fit check, um, as I fiddle with my my glove holders, a um, um, couple nice things to take into consideration is uh, the total retail price for the entire loadout came to for battle belt and for play care came to uh, seven hundred and fifty nine dollars and sixty seven cents. So essentially, if you think about it, for seventy four dollars and sixty seven cents more 
you can get this entire loadout versus just um, just the standard plate carrier assembly through Faro Systems. Now keep in mind, I do understand that the quality is probably significantly better going through Faro than getting something through Pet Tech here. But um, one can't deny uh, the amount of money to be able to save, especially if you're going down, you're playing airsoft, you're doing the LARPing thing, you know, or just for just generalized home protection. Uh, with you know not the amount of wear and tear that uh, would be required um, act, uh, serving active duty or doing actual you know real life you know military training or military work or po even police work for that matter um, it's it's kind of a huge difference to be able to understand the price difference between the two so like I said if it's just for limited use or just for uh, general home protection I really do think the better bet would be to go through the pet tech here than to pay full price for the Faro Systems set setup. With all the praise out of the way, one thing that I do want to make uh, abundantly clear is that in no way I am sponsored by Pet Tech Gear. Um, this is just me kind of being honest as a civilian and identifying the more bang for your buck that you do get for the uh, Pet Tech Gear setup, uh, knockoff version of the Faro Systems FCPC. So across the board, if you're not serving in active duty or you're not doing any type of police work down the line um, and you're just kind of primarily playing airsoft or just doing some uh, generalized training, um, I don't see why you wouldn't want to save a couple more dollars and go this route instead, but yeah. Hell, you're just a bag of bones. Only thing you ever done with your life is make a hot daughter. That's it, that's it, that is it. If we wanted us some wussies, we would have named them Dr. Quinn and Medicine Woman, okay? Alright guys, I hope you liked the video. Of course, make sure to like, comment, and, and subscribe per usual. Uh, let me know what you think of today's video. Uh, low budget loadout videos tend to do pretty well with you guys. I know you guys are you know, pretty excited for these things to come out um, across the board. Uh, let me know if there's anything else down the line you would like me to kind of showcase. Um, I do have a couple other different videos coming down the pipe, so uh, be on the lookout for that. Also, if you're interested in any of the products shown today in the low budget loadout, feel free to go to the description of the video. You will see links to all of those said products. Um, so basically showing you where to get them. And yeah, with all that being said and done, I will see you guys next week.